Hey guys, it's Kaylin. Welcome back to my channel. Just today I filmed another makeup tutorial. I did a simple eyes with a dark purple lip. I love this lip because it makes my teeth look white. Yes, honey. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, just go ahead and keep on watching. To start out this look, I'm taking my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. I always use this because it's nice and thick and it's full coverage. So it's going to not only make my um, my shadows stay on longer, <clears throat> it's going to help blend them out better and just conceal any veiny spots. I'm going in with that skin tone shade and setting the concealer. Then I'm taking the shade Cocoa Bean out of my Too Faced Matte Eyeshadow Palette and I'm just applying it into my crease to define the crease so it doesn't look like my upper skin is hanging over my eyelids. It looks like I actually have a crease. So, And then I'm taking this Maybelline Waterproof Ultra Liner in brown. I didn't want to go super dramatic. So I decided to go for a brown, and I really liked how the brown looked. And I'm just doing a simple wing, nothing too dramatic or crazy. And then I'm going to curl my lashes, and then I'm going to go in with this Double Wink Sugar Mascara. This mascara has two ends. One end is a thicker side for your upper lashes, and the other end is a thin, tiny side for to get into your lower lashes. I'm going to apply some chapstick on because I recently got sunburnt lips, so I need to make sure those puppies stay moisturized, and I always do it anyways. I'm going to go in with a primer. I'm taking my Revlon Color Stay or Color Correcting Primer, I believe it's called, because obviously, you know, I've been out in the sun, so I've got some sunspots, i got some darkness. I just want to color correct my face, so I decided what better way to do that than go in with this primer. I'm going to quickly do my brows. They're nothing exciting because my brows are like the worst thing ever. So we're just going to, boom, they're done. Yeah. I'm just combing them out now because wretchedness is real. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I like this primer because it moisturizes my under eyes because I do have dry skin underneath there. And it helps just the concealer that I apply on apply so much more smoother and just it makes my it makes it a lot easier. I'm going in with this Maybelline Foundation in 225. This foundation was way light. <laughs> it was so lighter than I expect it to be because obviously it's summertime but we're gonna go in with a bronzer and obviously warm it up so you'll see my face is gonna look so much lighter than my body but it's okay bronzers are best friend I'm taking this Maybelline master conceal concealer this is in the color light I went in with it I was gonna use another concealer but with my how dark I am at the moment that concealer that concealer Literally, no joke, looked white on my face, so I had to uh, mix it up a little bit and use this concealer because this had more of a yellow undertone. And I'm just going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Blender Sponge and blend it out. I'm taking my Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm just applying this, setting this onto my eyes. It's not going to give me a super highlighted look, but it's just going to set it and kind of tone it down a little bit because my face is already looking extra highlighted because of my foundation. So. I don't want to look too crazy. So going back in with that mascara, I'm going to take the other end for your lower lashes. It's so skinny, so it's so easy to get in on my lower lashes, on the root all the way to the bottom. So it gives them that nice, long, thick feel without giving me like black all over my lower lashes. So yeah. Now going in with bronzer, I'm taking my MAC Studio bronzer and I'm kind of using this as a face powder, if you can't tell, because the foundation was so light. So I'm kind of just like buffing it everywhere not just like on my cheekbones but it directly I'm melt I'm like so tongue-tied I'm mostly um, applying this on my cheekbones and the rest that's on the brush I'm putting it all over my face I'm going in with this NYX um, wonder pencil in light and I'm just putting this on my waterline just to open my eyes up a little bit I'm taking this blush this is in I don't remember what color this was in but I'm taking this blush and I'm applying it on my cheekbones. I think it was either called Mellow Mauve, maybe. I'm taking my NARS highlighter and Albatross. I love this for a subtle, golden, goddessy feel highlighter. Look at it. And then I've been recently obsessed with putting this on my nose because 
I like the button nose look and it's so amazing. I'm going in with this lip liner also from Rimmel London. This is in Cherry Kiss, which is that it matches the same exact color lipstick that I'm going to use. It's just like a nice dark berry purpley color. It's so pretty. I really like it. And then for lipstick, I'm taking the Remo London lipstick. This is from the Kate line in the number 30. And I'm just applying this onto my lips. It's so easier. It's always easier to apply dark lipstick when using a lip liner because you don't have to worry about trying to get it all the way up to your lip and then, you know, possibly outlining it a little bit too far. But this lipstick was super creamy, moisturizing, and I want it to make it look more matte so I went back in with my airspun loose face powder and I just took a little bit on my finger and just dabbed it on my lip it took away the shine kind of and then it just made the lips matte and I loved how this look turned out I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next video bye everyone